So we talked about uh, before we get into this next topic, man. Let's, let me remind you to get buckets with your first bet on FanDuel, America's number one sports book. Because right now, new customers get one hundred and fifty dollars in bonus bets with any winning five dollar bet. That's 150 bucks if your bet wins. Bet on all your favorite NBA players and teams with quick bets, live same game parlays, exclusive props, and more. Just visit fanduel.com slash UCSS and shoot your shot. FanDuel, official sportsbook partner of the NBA. So yesterday, both the Athletic and ESPN was given the task of choosing one player per team. Uh, that may be a casual uh, salary cap casualty. Mm-hmm. And when it came to the Cleveland Browns, a guy that we talked about earlier in the show, Nick Chubb. Yeah. $16 million cap hit. Uh, both of those outlets selected Nick Chubb to be the guy that would be the casualty. Do you see it that way? I mean, he's the only uh, – who else would you pick? Now, these articles are not saying he's going to be a cap casualty. He's, they're saying he's the most likely guy to be a cap casualty. And I just don't know who else there is because all the other guys who are making good money that you would prefer to cut Jack Conklin have guaranteed like you can't you you can't cut Jed Wills you can't cut Jack Conklin just did the deal you just yeah you've restructured Betonio and Teller you can't Mm -hmm. do those like you're not cutting Amari Cooper. You need more receivers, right? Yeah. David and Joku got a new deal. He ain't going nowhere. No. They'll probably mess around with Deshaun Watson's deal, but I don't know how much that's going to free up any right. money. Nobody else did not. It. You know, you're not. There's nobody else. Everybody else is either a guy you have to keep, and the only other guy you could say is getting outrageously paid is really Conklin and Wills, and you can't cut those guys. Yeah. So there's no, there's no. So it, it actually cost him. it cost the Browns more money to cut Jack Conklin yeah, right. than it is to keep him. Right. right. And the thing with Nick Chubb, and I'm going to preface everything by saying this: I feel very confident the Browns will re- rework and restructure a deal with Nick Chubb, and he will not be cut. But if they were to cut him, they save twelve million dollars. It's only a four million dollar dead cap hit. He's due to make about sixteen million. So right. I was more than anything else. I was shocked by the reaction of this online yesterday because it's a conversation we've been having here and we've been arguing with people online who have reacted to clips from this show (laughs) since before last season. The Browns, even before Nick Chubb's injury, were never going to take a $16 million cap hit on a running back. And we talked about this going into the season prior to the injury. You know, that doesn't could this mean, be Nick Chubb's last year because of the contract? This has I, been something that's not new. We've all I known this I get why people are outraged because it's Nick Chubb. I get it. I just was surprised that people thought this was new information. It's not. It, but but people, you, you don't understand, right? Like, so you, teams mostly, front office guys, guys like Andrew Berry, don't get emotionally involved or no, try not with to. players. Try, try not, not to. to. The fans are emotionally involved. Nick Chubb, if you did a poll of every Browns fan, not just the people watching our show, but every Browns fan, who is your favorite player on the Browns? Nick Chubb would win by in a landslide, I think, he, over over Miles Garrett, he's, anybody. He's one of the most beloved players in the, not just now, it's the history of the Browns. No doubt. I would say his popularity among Browns fans rivals almost any player's popularity among their own fan bases as well. Yes. Certainly any non quarterback. Yeah. yeah, like without a doubt. So it's hard to shut off that emotion. And when you see an article that says Nick Chubb is going to be a cap casualty, well, you've already gone into that article if you're going to read it, assuming they're saying the Browns should cut Nick Chubb. Yeah. And every time you read those articles, nobody ever writes, oh, the Browns got to get rid of Nick Chubb like he's, a, he's an albatross. No. It's always, hey, the Browns need to figure this out. Nick Chubb's got to make his decision. <laughs> It, I think every, every article about Nick Chubb potentially being cut always has the caveat. I think he'll be back with the Browns, yeah. but here's what they got to do. And so I, I just couldn't understand this. Yeah. This is outweighs. why I'm going to – listen, I, I, I use these examples as real life. When they tell you don't talk about politics, they're like, well, no, like this is a political thing. Like there are certain people that have such a rabid fan base that there, there are certain people that are still upset at the Browns for cutting Bernie Kosar. To yeah. this day. Yes. And if you don't, and we don't have nothing. Like, we don't have championships to hold on to. We got a bunch of ghosts and, and different things that we've done bad. So people don't get over nothing. So they're like, I don't like that you got rid of Bernie. 
uh, people still don't like that the Guardians don't spend money because they had all these players and they feel like they didn't do anything. Yeah. And you got people to this day that won't go to the games. You change the colors. You change this. They don't like it. But the Nick Chubb thing is even worse because guess what? He's Nick they, Chubb. They saw him get his leg they yeah. saw the injury and they saw him sitting there crying and they saw him how much work he puts in and they're like oh no i don't care what it costs like if you can't andrew barry has he there's right. no way he can get rid it's of it's the him. way he ended it's the type of guy he is like there's never been a bad word about the ever player, ever and i can't it, it if if there was a bad word or something bad about nick chubb it would be the most stunning story in the history of Cleveland. Yeah. <laughs> I would be blown away. I couldn't even, like, fathom anything negative being said about By the way, it was I, I don't know if anybody saw this, but uh, it was another cool thing with Nick Chubb. Joel Batonio was doing some sort of – he was at, like, a high school or maybe middle school. I don't remember. But he was, like – this was a couple of weeks ago. He was working with some, fo- some football players, some kids, mm-hmm. right? It was, like – and it was really cool. And in the middle of it – he FaceTimed Nick Chubb right, to I say remember. hi to the kids. Did you see that? Yeah, I saw that. That yeah. was really cool. And the kids got a, you know, Nick Chubb got a kick out of it, and he got a kick, good kick out of it, and the kids. He's just, he's everything yeah. you want in a player, and he's everything you want in a representative of your team. <laughs> he plays his ass off. There's no showboating. There's nothing, literally nothing not to like about Nick Chubb, and that's why there's so they, much inv- emotion involved in this. They tried to say that before the year, that they was going to have to, you know, get, take some of Amari Cooper's money. Yeah. <laughs> Amari Cooper, just, yeah. he just, because of his demeanor, he plays injured. He he has the, he broke the record for you uh, all time, you know, yards and catching the football. And then they had to back off Amari Cooper because people started saying, oh, no, no, you, you yeah, you, Amari Cooper's back too. What are you talking about? And, and Amari <laughs> Cooper doesn't have this lifelong connection no. with Brown. Uh-uh. Fans it is two years. That Nick Chubb and, does. And even with the Chubb situation, at Andrew Barry's end of the season media availability, he was asked about Nick Chubb, and he said, "We're going to have to figure that situation yeah. out." So, it, the big I, picture is, I think we're all in agreement. Nick Chubb's going to be in a Browns uniform next year. Most it just yes. won't yes. be at a sixteen million dollar right, cap and yet. and it shouldn't be. And I think the perfect solution is to extend him, keep the guaranteed money lower. And, and a ton of incentives that he and, could make good money. And you come out and you say, we have just signed a contract with Nick Chubb that effectively makes him a Brown for life. Yeah. That would be a great PR move and probably a great football It's move. a win-win for everybody in that sense. Yeah. The, the back-end potential fallout of any long contract, not just Nick Chubb, is he goes off a cliff. He's not the same player. But right. if it's incentive-based and low guarantees, right. then you, you eat that you money. You still for, have to address that yeah. position with a young player. Uh, he, he, but you eat that money for a guy like right. Nick Chubb, and, who and, you hope can get back. And also, Bull, real quick, yeah. you know, if Nick Chubb lives up to what we think he can come back to be, whether it's 85, 90, 100%, 110%, if he's, you know, Adrian Peterson, like Israel mentioned, he can make even more money. So Entirely possible. it's kind of a win-win for both. I, I think the only way Nick Chubb is not back, and I don't think this, I'll be surprised if this is the case, but is that if he just refuses to negotiate. Or, I was, I was going to ask. Very surprised by Or it. if they lowball him and say, we're going to offer you $5 million or something for one year. Yeah. Well, but I, that's what we're saying, if he yeah, won't renegotiate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, I, I think they'll be – I don't know. I, I think I, I think the, the smart money is that they'll find a comfortable in between to keep him and make him a lifetime brown. <laughs> so I what think is, that's all we hope because nobody wants to see him in another uniform. What's Baltimore the percentage race? chance? Don't even say don't, God, don't say that. God. But gee, what's the what's the percentage chance? 90, 95, 80, something less, that Nick Chubb finishes career as a brown. What would you put? Oh, it's at? a it's a it's a hundred percent. Like he's gonna get that Udonis Haslam. Like you know, like <laughs> you no, you Donis Haslam has like, the greatest like, deal of all like time. Like he, like he, like no, like as long to me, look, he he would move right from where he's doing right now to somewhere in the front office. Like, I he, I, I think the only question mark is this year. If yeah. they extend him now and they come to an agreement, well, by the time that contract's over, he's gonna now he's so anyway, old yeah. that he's paying. He's either retiring. Or he's going to make so little money that they'll just keep him yeah. like Frank Gore, you know, yeah. like in that type of role. Yeah. Or, oh, yeah. or where he's like the number two back. He'll be your short. He'll be what Nick Kareem Hunt was last year down the so line. So then what do you think? The I'll per- say 90%. Because I think there's a slight chance he could. 
I'm gonna go ninety. I'm gonna go ninety five. I'm gonna go ninety five, and that five percent is simply Nick Chubb says, "I want to play somewhere I, else or either, whatever." Which I can't I'm imagine him saying that, yeah. but I'm not renegotiating. But we don't know. The, in the end, we don't know. We don't know him personally. Yeah, we'll, we'll see know. what happens. I'd be shocked once again. That's a ninety five percent confidence. Yeah. But, but you add all three together, and that's what ninety five. But, but then again, exactly. I will say this: I always thought Jarvis Landry in his career here, and it in one season it raveled. And, yeah, and, and, yeah, and, you never know. And he just he was so bitter about the fact that they told him to take a pay cut. And he was like, well, I was here was, when nobody wanted to be here. Was yeah. Stump his guy, right? They were super tight, weren't they? They were. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah. may, maybe that could be what leads to the 5%. But I would be, at the end of the day, absolutely shocked if Nick Chubb is not a Brown on some sort of restructured deal. I you said you had a question, so, Earl. The, well, question and a comment. But yeah. the comment first, because I'm reading the comments in the chat. Shout out to the chat. Somebody said if AB was to cut uh, – Nick Chubb, he, he might as well turn in his badge. Now somebody else said he'll be ran out of town. We talk about the emotional ties to Nick Chubb, right? Yeah. And you just peep how the show started. Me and Bull going back and forth about a difference of opinion about Nick Chubb. Yeah. I think when I say he's a, a blue chip player, I've talked about this before. I view Nick Chubb not just as a f- football player, but the epitome of what you want this organization to be. And so – the emotional ties might have me overrating him in some people's eyes, but this is how I see this dude. And when you talk about these articles, we got to understand, man, content creators today, I don't think, I learned this in Ohio Media School, I don't think content creators today are just putting out content for the sake of. They do what I do. They try to emotionally trigger you. So if you read Nick Chubb, Cap Casualty, you automatically pissed off because you know how much you love him. Personally, you know how much the city loves him, and then you know how much – like how great of a player he is. So anytime that you see anything like that with him in particular, it is going to tug on the heart strings sure. a little bit. Right. And, and it just is, goes to show who he is and how important he is. Yeah, to the he's city. a blue chip human being. And no that doubt is about why it. the Cleveland Browns will play in Brazil against the Philadelphia Eagles week one. Mm. The storylines is too good. It's There's, looking more and more likely. Yeah. Peter King reported that he yeah, feels that. quote feels really good <laughs> yeah. about that. So speaking of running backs, Earl, you got a uh, something you wanted to hit on with Jim Brown. Let's go to that.